Hi all, so welcome back to my channel, Damned Concepts. Hope all are doing good. So if you are new to my channel, myself Murindra. So I am a blogger who will be sharing my information on Damned Concepts. So as you have seen my information from Dhanne, so this video will be all about sharing you the information like how to enter into the automotive domain. Might be your refresher or you might be an experienced. So what are the skills you might be requiring? So what are the companies which are working with automotive domain? So all will be explained in this particular video. So what are you waiting for? So let's get started. I think most of the people are aware of the term Embedded Systems. So it is a combination of both hardware and software. So Embedded Systems is subcategorized into many subdomains. So some of the examples of this subdomain consist of Locomotive, Aerospace, Android and uh, so on. So one of the example of this particular subdomain is Automotive. So Automotive is one of the subdomain of Embedded Systems. Now frankly speaking, Automotive is all about cars, electrical vehicles, motorbikes, trucks and so on. So even in automotive, you will be having two parts to enter. So one is the automotive software and the next one is the automotive hardware. Now let's talk into deeper. So what are the skills, what are the topics you need to learn to enter into the automotive software and into the automotive hardware. Now let's talk about the automotive software. So what is the algebraic criteria? So in order to enter to the automotive software field. So coming to the eligibility criteria. So you need to test yourself in the case of two categories. The first one in the case of education and the second one in the case of percentile. So coming to the case of education in order to enter to the automotive software field. You must be a bachelor's degree. You must have a bachelor's degree in the stream of electronics and communication. Electronics and electrical engineering. Computers and engineering. So if you are the person who has the degree in the above mentioned streams then you can enter into the automotive software field now there's a small exception here so people of mechanical engineering and automotive software like automotive engineering can also enter into the automotive software field but in order to enter for these two streams you must have a basic knowledge on electronics and you must have the basic knowledge on software programming languages so if you feel you are good at the about two topics then you can obviously enter into the automotive software now there is a small question arises here. So what about the people who are not from the above mentioned uh, streams? For example, electronics and telecommunications, electronics and instrumentation branches. Now, I for them, I can answer like this. So if you are from a different branches, but if you are having a good knowledge on basics of electronics and basics of uh, software programming languages, obviously you can enter into the automotive software field. Now, eligibility criteria in the case of percentile. So, if you want to enter into the automotive software or automotive field, you must have a good knowledge and good percentile of above 65 percentile. So, if you are having a good percentile above 65, then you can attend the interviews and you can uh, get yourself entered into the automotive domain. Now, a small question arises over here. So, what about the people who are having less than 65? So, for them, I can answer like this. So even if you have a less percentile, don't worry about it. So marks are not everything that can get you placed. So it's all about the knowledge. So don't try to think about the percentile. Always try to think about the knowledge. There are many people even who are having less percentile and who, when, who are doing their jobs in their core companies. So always think about the knowledge. Try to gain good knowledge. Don't think about the marks and try to attend the interviews and just get yourself forward. Now let's talk about the skills what you need to acquire to enter for the interviews. So in the case of automotive software, so if you want to enter for the interviews, so prior to that you must have the basic knowledge on C, programming language, C++, data structures, Python and Java. Yes, you must have the basic knowledge on these particular topics. I am not telling you to be a pro in coding and to be a pro in all these languages. Simply you must have the basic knowledge and you must know about the important topics in those languages and you must know the basic syntax of the important topics so if you are good at those important topics and syntaxes then it's okay to be good at for interviews now let's talk about the protocols so in order to enter to the automotive you must have the basic knowledge on these protocols the first one is like UART, CAN protocol, SPI, I2C so you must have basic knowledge on these protocols in order to Make yourself to be good at interviews. 
now next one is like electronics so you must have the basic knowledge on electronics and you must have basic knowledge on microcontrollers like any of the microcontrollers or microprocessors so if you have basic knowledge on these particular topics then it's very important for you and it's very good for you in order to get qualified for the interviews in the automotive domain now let's talk about the automotive hardware so if you want to enter into the field of automotive hardware so you must be having a bachelor's degree in the stream of electronics and communication electrical and electronic engineering followed with mechanical and automotive engineering so now let me deal with the skills what you must be requiring so if you are a person who is coming from the background of electronics you must be having the knowledge on these following topics so you must be having knowledge on operational amplifiers electronics devices and circuits electronic circuit analysis network analysis and its theorems and followed with electromagnetic waves and transmission lines and if you are a person who is coming from the background of mechanical or automotive engineering you must be having the knowledge on uh, engineering mechanics and automotive electronics and automotive technologies and coming to the eligibility criteria in the case of percentile you must be having the basic percentile of greater than 65 now let's see some of the companies which are working on the automotive domain if you from vlsi background and even if you working for the uh, vlsi domain so these are some of the companies which will be working on manufacturing of automotive chips so let me share you the list of those companies so i have shared you the list of the companies which are working with the automotive domain now it's chance for you to apply for those companies depending upon the eligibility criteria and the post what the company has listed now we from where you will be applying to those jobs now let me suggest you some of the two important resources from where you can apply for the jobs in those companies which you are interested for so the first one is the linkedin and the second one is the nowkri so i personally suggest you these are the one of the two best resources from where you can apply for your jobs depending on the post what you are eligible for this video has given you a valuable information So, if you feel that I have missed any of the names of the companies or regarding the automotive companies, so you can just comment me in the comment section so that I'll be adding them in the description box. And if you feel my content is good, informative, and valuable, you can like, share, and subscribe to my channel. So, meet you next video. Until then, bye bye. Thank you.